A little more than a month before the midterms, Republicans are highlighting their accomplishments. President Trump making a new trade deal with Canada and Mexico as the government averts a shutdown. And the economy keeps getting high marks, but Republicans still appear poised to lose the House next month. I'm joined now by Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise, the House Majority Whip. I know on any of these occasions um, that you have to look at the bright side, and I know that you have a bright side. There's certainly a lot of them. You know, the House Republicans have fulfilled a lot of their campaign promises. President Trump has given them, you all, the, like, the leeway to do what you feel needs to be done for the country. Some things get caught up in the Senate, and now you have this Kavanaugh nomination, and I wonder if you think that that will be a good thing and a help to House Republicans, or if it could turn up, in, you know, enthusiastic turnout for Democrats on the other side. Well, Dana, I think the most important thing that we can be doing to fight to keep the majority is to remind people just how well the economy is doing and why. Obviously, the tax cuts have gotten this economy going to a point where we've seen record uh, record growth in our jobs. Uh, you're seeing low unemployment uh, in every spectrum, by the way. It's it's literally right, every spectrum of our economy is doing better. Optimism being way up there, and yet there still looks like there is the NRCC um, you know, pulling back some money, and that's obviously that's normal because people, you're looking at the races and you don't have unlimited resources. But take a look at this number from Act Blue tweeting on Sunday. This is the they fundraise for Democrats. By yesterday's midnight deadline, small dollar donors had made over 300,000 individual donations, adding up to over $16.8 million for campaigns and organizations using Act Blue, making it the biggest day ever on our platform. How important is it to have a lot of money going into this last month so that you can spend it where you need to? Money matters a lot, and you can see the left is incredibly energized and raising record amounts of money, and they got people like Michael Bloomberg putting in individually over $80 million of his money to flip the House from Republican to Democrat. But I think it's important to see just what the left is doing and what they want to do. They want to reverse the tax cuts. They want to abolish ICE. And you're seeing literally in these Democrat primaries, liberals are being beaten by socialists. So their party is moving so far to the left, way out of touch with the country. We've got to grow an economy. Obviously, we need to keep talking about that. And it's going to take money. We don't need to spend dollar for dollar with them. We've seen that in other races, like Karen Handel's race last year, yep. most expensive race in the history of the country. And they, we were heavily outspent, yet we still won because we've got a better message. They really have no agenda except to resist Trump, to resist all these great things that are happening. And they're against the tax cuts that are growing our economy and creating jobs and rebuilding our middle in class. In fact, you know, speaking so of that, President Trump... I think you're Trump, going to see that contrast. And President Trump this morning uh, at the Rose Garden uh, actually even went into the afternoon giving a statement about the new trade deal uh, that he was able to get signed with Mexico and Canada. Take a listen to what he said. We have negotiated this new agreement based on the principle of fairness and reciprocity. With this agreement, we are closing all of these terrible loopholes. I don't want to see our companies leave and fire our workers, and our workers never get jobs to replace those jobs. Those days are over. Congressman Scalise, if the Republicans don't keep the House, how difficult might it be to actually you know, get the new trade deal passed for President Trump? Well, I don't think Nancy Pelosi wants to see this economy growing like it is. I mean, she's against the tax cuts that are actually making it grow. But if you look, uh, this is a great deal that President Trump uh, negotiated to first renegotiate with Mexico and then Canada. How many people would have thought, if you heard the rhetoric over the last year, mm -hmm. that the president was going to actually be able to get a better deal for America with, uh, with Canada and Mexico? And this is good for American workers. You know, in Wisconsin, the dairy problems that they were having, this opens up a lot of markets. So I applaud President Trump on doing the things he promised, cutting better deals, standing up for America. We're rebuilding our military, too, by the way. Uh, all of those things are really important in terms of us keeping the House and showing the contrast. And do you think that it's possible to run on those positive things, or do you have to figure out a way to sort of scare your base and say, if you don't turn out, all of these things could go away? Well, clearly, you've got to show the contrast. You've got to talk about what we're doing that's really working for families, and people see that. Uh, they're seeing more money in their paychecks, and now they know why, and they know Nancy Pelosi wants to take it away. She thought it was crumbs, and they're enjoying the, the, that $1,000 bonus and the other things that they're seeing. But you also have to show what they're about, too, because the other side wants to talk about health care. They're for single-payer health care, which means 
Right now, Medicare is going bankrupt in eight years if we don't save it from bankruptcy. They want to dump about 200 million more people on mm -hmm. Medicare and make it go bankrupt quicker. That's not something good for seniors. It's not something good for people who have private insurance right now. The Democrats' plan, by the way, gets rid of the private insurance market. People need to know about that, and when they hear about it, they don't like it. Well, certainly, Medicare is going to be an issue that everyone's going to have to tackle, um, Republicans and Democrats alike, because, as you said, eight years is, goes by quickly. Congressman Steve Scalise, thanks for coming on. Great being back with you, Dana.